Okay, guys, real quick before this video starts, I am back home right now, and unfortunately, because I filmed with my phone, I can edit as best as I can. I can work really, really hard, but the audio keeps fading out. Uh, I, it goes out completely at like around nine minutes, and then I think it comes back in around 14 minutes. There's nothing I can do about it. I am very, very, very sorry, but it is only, I can guarantee it is only for the vlogs. Next week when we do regular episodes, it's not going to be that way. It is only for these vlogs. I am very sorry, but please enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome to season five, episode five. Uh, this, for at least the plane right now, is to be the last uh, video of this European trip. And then next week, uh, we will get back to regular videos. And next, we are on our way to the diaconate ordination of two seminarians uh, from our, our archdiocese in uh, St. Peter's. guys, the diaconate ordination just ended. We are still in St. Peter's and now we are going to go see the Pieta. Alright guys, uh, next up we are going to head over to the NAC, the North American College here in Rome. Uh, for the reception of the diaconate ordination. We are at the reception for the diaconate ordination and there are just three seminarians, deacons, walking everywhere. All right, y'all, we just left the diaconate uh, ordination reception at the NAC. Uh, changed for my dress shirt. We got in a bus and went to the catacombs. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to film in the catacombs. I think I can. I'm not entirely sure. No recording. No recording. I, I have my, my, my phone that I'm using right now because we're on travel. Uh, ready to record. And then I look at the sign. No recording. No recording whatsoever. It was so cool, guys. I wish uh, I could have shown it to you, but unfortunately, I couldn't. Now, I think next we are going to take a bus to St. Paul outside the wall, one of the four major basilicas here in Rome. So I will show you guys that, and hopefully there I can video. All right, we just arrived at St. Paul outside the wall. So we just left St. Paul outside the wall. Next, we are going to go to dinner and then to bed. So uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. And just heads up, tomorrow is the Scavi. It is the old streets of ancient Rome. And we can actually look and see St. Peter's bones. The very first pope, we can see his bones in the Scavi. However, so unfortunately, they are very strict about security. That also means that I cannot record or take pictures of anything that... I see in there so I will be unable to take you guys along with me for that but I do know for a fact that we are also doing some other very exciting things tomorrow so I will see y'all then this is the next morning I did forget to film this morning but we just left mass and next we are going to split off from the group and go uh, take a tour of the Coliseum Look at that. guys 
All right, guys, we just left the Coliseum. Uh, that was absolutely incredible. That was just, just like to, to see how old it was and what it was used for. It's, it's just crazy to think that there were actually real people who had like actual lives thousands of years ago. Next, we are going to head up to the Forum, which is like the ancient uh, sort of city center uh, of Rome where they had restaurants, the bank, uh, the Senate, all sorts of different stuff uh, in ancient Rome at the Forum. So I'll see y'all there. Just left the forum. I didn't have time to film outside the forum because we had to hurry and get into uh, a cab to come to the Scavi. However, uh, it was incredible. All the things that were there, all the ancient sort of ruins of the old city center. It was absolutely mind-boggling. Uh, the stuff that we saw. Again, I can't record in the Scavi, like I said. All right, guys, we just left the Scavi. It was absolutely incredible. And next up, we are going to head over to Peter and Chains, where the actual chains that Peter uh, was imprisoned in is held. All right, guys, we just got out of Peter and Chains, and it was closing in 10 minutes, so we did kind of have to hurry. Next, we are going to go to dinner, so I will see y'all tomorrow. And tomorrow, I think, is a travel day for when we are going to go to Naples in Italy. So I am very uh, excited for that. I will see you all then. This morning, guys, we are on the bus uh, about to head to Naples. And one bus ride later, I completely forgot to mention that we were also uh, going to Monte Cassino Abbey, the headquarters of the Benedictine Abbey, to stop uh, for mass. We just got out of mass, and to be completely honest, I have no idea uh, what we are going to do next. I'll try to let y'all know uh, if I do, but it's very pretty courtyard, very pretty abbey uh, outside of the church part. We actually went to the relics chapel with a ton of relics from different saints, uh, which uh, mass was going on, so I couldn't record. However, it was uh, very incredible to see such a large abbey. We are going to explore some of the old abbeys, some of the original parts of the abbey. I'll try to record as much as I can, not sure if I can record everything. So y'all, what we just saw was absolutely crazy how old this stuff uh, here in Italy dates back. And next, I think we're going to onto the bus and then continuing straight to Naples. I'm not sure if we are doing uh, any more today once we arrive in Naples or if it's going to be too late. Um, but I will see y'all when we arrive. arrived in Naples. It's an incredibly uh, beautiful city and we don't really have anything else planned for the day. We're gonna 
uh, look around, look at the incredible architecture, so I will uh, show you all some shots of that. I think it's a mall, but whatever it is, it's very, very pretty. In the big dome thing, eating some gelato before we check into the hotel. What'd you get, Gerald? Strawberry. Strawberry is it good? I got mint chocolate chip. Very good. What about you, Griner? Strawberry. Strawberry. Nice. What about you, Dad? Strawberry. We love strawberry. All right, y'all. Now we are sitting here waiting for the bus to pick us up and take us to our hotel room. There we can pack and uh, sort of settle down for the next two days. That, or unpack, I mean, and sort of settle down for the next two days uh, that we are in Naples. Now, I'm not entirely sure if we're doing anything tonight. I'm pretty sure that we do stuff tonight without the group. I'll just, I'll let you know what I know. But right now, we are about to go back to the hotel. Or not back. About to go see our new hotel. All right, guys, we just checked into the hotel. Just got our bags and stuff ready. And next, we are going to split off from the group head to dinner and we are going to go dinner by the ocean so it's going to be very pretty so oh, i don't know where i'm walking I'll just... that way okay what okay good i'm terrified of ice um so i will probably get some shots of us at dinner just because it's gonna be such a pretty view however besides that uh, i will see you all tomorrow when we go to the island of capri Next morning around 6 a.m. and I'm going to show you some shots of the beautiful uh, sunrise that uh, we get to see on our way to Sunday morning mass this morning. I will see y'all after mass. I was gonna say, what got me? The sun is now risen. Now it is Capri Day today, so we are going to go get on a boat and head over to Capri. All right, we have arrived in Capri, and the blue grotto was, I think it was too rough over there, so we're not gonna get to do uh, that, but we are going to go on a boat tour around the island uh, of Capri. some incredible beautiful shots that I got. We are going to go up to the city of Capri for lunch. Right y'all, we just got off the bus, arrived in the main city uh, of Capri. Look at that view. All right, next we're gonna have lunch. And then after that, I think we're gonna go up to Anna Capri, which to get to Anna Capri, there's a road. And we have been told that the locals here call it Mamma Mia Road because of how terrifying it is. Because you're off over a ledge. I'll show you a shot of it right now. And we are going to go on it to go to Anna Capri after lunch. All right, we are about to board the bus for Mamma Mia Road. You ready? No. <laughs> Me neither. Yes. And it's very, very small. We made it to Anna Capri uh, over Mamma Mia Road. All right, just uh, made it up. We went uh, shopping for a little bit. Now we're about to head uh, back down again to Mamma Mia Road. Uh, and then I think we're going to go back on to Capri and head on a boat over to Naples, where tonight we're going to have a very beautiful uh, rooftop dinner. So I will show you shots of that uh, when we get to it also. All right, we made it up and down Mamma Mia Road both times. We, we made it pretty well. Next, uh, we are going to go hop on a boat to go to the pier. 
right? We just arrived back in Naples. Next, I think we might drop stuff off at our hotel room. But next thing I will show you guys is the roof top dinner looking over Naples. It's gonna be extraordinarily beautiful. I will show you uh, right now. There was some beautiful shots of our view last night. That was the best I could get because they had the windows, um, the windows closed. But this morning we have taken a bus ride to Pompeii, where there was a huge, there is a huge volcano here that like buried the, buried the entire city in ashes. And so we are going to go see some of the ancient ruins uh, of the city of Pompeii before the volcano erupted. And before we go in to see the ruins, just to give you guys sort of an idea of what is today. So after we go to Pompeii to see the ruins, we are going to take a bus uh, back to Rome. And there we are going to have mass at Mary Manger. And also in Mary Manger is the actual literal manger that the baby Jesus was born in. Now I'm not sure if I'll be able to video that or take pictures. I really, really hope I can because that would be so cool and then after that uh, I think it's dinner and then tomorrow we are flying out uh, back to the US back to my home state so that's sort of uh, for the rest of the video for the rest of the trip but right now we are going to enter Pompeii and see some of the ancient ruins just saw it. I mean it's so 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 old and like I said last video it's crazy to think that these people even like had lives in history you hear history you think yeah I know the wars and stuff that happened but these people were actually real people just like you and I all right next we are going to get uh, on the bus and then go to Rome so I will see y'all when we arrive at our hotel in Rome all right we just arrived uh, from the bus ride in Rome and next uh, again don't know if I'll be able to record but I'm going to show you guys uh, the manger that he was put in That was the manger that Jesus was was put in. There's just just like Saint Croce. That there's just nothing, to, no words to describe what I just saw. That was absolutely crazy. This is also the largest basilica dedicated to Mary in the world. It's absolutely crazy. And next, uh, next we are going to uh, go back to the hotel. We're going to unpack for the night and then uh, have dinner and go to bed. So. Uh, I will see y'all tomorrow, and tomorrow is travel day when we fly back to the U.S. Good morning, y'all. It is the next day. Too early this morning. Actually, it's later than when we normally woke up. But we are getting ready to board the bus. We are boarding the bus to go to the airport to fly back to the States. So we are here. We have arrived at the airport. And so first, we are going to fly to Paris. We have a layover there. And then from there to Detroit other from Detroit to home so and we are about to go board our plane to head to Paris France Dave had some flight trouble so now we are leaving later from uh, from Paris and then we're gonna on our way from Detroit uh, stop at an airport close to home and then from that airport like a 30 minute flight to home so now we're doing like four flights on our way back and it's gonna take us an extra day to get home man I guess I guess God really wants us to stay in Europe huh anyway we're about to board our flight back to the US <laughs> 